Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be filming the start of a week in my life. This is a kind of a continuation of resetting my life in 30 days, but more of kind of like a vlog style. I feel like last time I did more of a sit down and a talk through, whereas this time is just going to be like a week in my life. Um, having said that, I am starting today as Wednesday because the last two days I've been ill and I've been working but I've just been working from bed so it's not very fun to film. So technically today is day 10 of resetting my life in 30 days um, so we're just gonna pretend like the last two days didn't exist. So this week's a little bit busy because I've got a website launch so we're just getting the final pieces together. I've got a few video tutorials um, and walkthroughs to send over to the client so that she can upkeep it after we launch. Um, this one involves a lot of like back-end stuff because she's using Thrivecart and she's selling tickets and courses and everything so we're just making sure all of the flows from the checkout to her email provider which is MailChimp is all kind of set up and flowing correctly um, which does take a bit of time so there are a few things to double check um, a few tests to do and everything so that is what my week's looking like I've actually written down my to-do list for the day so yeah, that's how it's looking so far. I've got a lot of emails to reply to today as well. I just feel like I haven't been on top of my inquiries lately because there's just been so much work. But apart from that, it's yeah, it's mainly just the website stuff, finalizing everything I need to, and then um, catching up on some emails and admin stuff. And I also really want to finish um, the website for the agency that I'm working on. I've got a couple of pages done in the design phase, but I still need to design and flesh out all of the other pages. So that is on my to-do list today as well. Hopefully I can get all of that done because I'm aiming to start developing it by next week so that it's up by end of July. So fingers crossed, all goes smoothly. But for now, I'm going to start my day and have some breakfast and then get straight into work. <laughs> pretty much the whole day I haven't left the house yet which I know I need to do um, but I did a lot of just like setting up the back end of MailChimp like I said I was gonna do this morning which took a lot more time than expected especially like learning new things because MailChimp I'm not very familiar with um, and I feel like every client has their own kind of back end systems now I'm gonna spend a little bit more time building out um, some more pages for the agency website I have done a few but I need to definitely add to that um, so I'm going to spend the rest of the evening doing that okay so I'm pretty much done with work now I was able to work on the website a little bit but my boyfriend's niece came over after she finished school so we were playing with her for a bit um, so I didn't get as much work done as I'd like to, but that's fine. For now, I've got my dinner in the oven. I'm just reheating some leftovers from last night for dinner. And I went to go pick up my parcel. Um, this is one of many. I've been on a little bit of a shopping spree this week, so I thought I would open this one with you guys. I can't even remember what I ordered now. Oh yeah. I got some new jeans. So the ones I'm wearing now, I wear all the time, but they're in black. see them, but they're just like straight like black jeans um and i love the fit of them so i got them in blue because i find it really hard to find jeans that fit me i'm five foot two so i'm not the tallest and i feel like there are very few jeans that fit well so hopefully these are the same kind of fit they look nice i love the color i got I really wanted to get this in black with the white trim, but they only had the white one in stock. So it's just like a white scoop tank with the black trim. I also got this belt um, because I realized I don't actually own any belts anymore. I feel like I had one, but I threw it out. And I liked the kind of the width of this one to wear with some like denim skirts and some shorts that I bought. And then I got this 
um, like a long white maxi denim skirt as well. It's like a little slit in the middle of it. Um, I've just been liking how these look on people recently. I feel like all I have been doing in my spare time is just scrolling through TikTok and seeing what people are wearing and I end up buying everything that they wear. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for this little shop. I will share with you when more stuff comes in. I also bought some sunglasses recently, I'll show you. So they're like, I guess thin like frames are trendy at the moment. But I don't know, I feel like I can't pull them off. I'm not cool enough. This is what they look like. I don't know, let me know. They're not the style I would usually go for. I usually go for like big frames, but I just feel like these look cool, but I don't know if I'm cool enough. Yeah, I am going to put this away, tidy up the flat a little bit because it is a huge mess right now. I feel like I've neglected it for a little bit. Um, and then have my dinner and yeah, just try and like plan out some content. But apart from that, I'm just gonna chill, I think. Um, and then what's on for the rest of the week? Tomorrow I've got Pilates class, which will be fun. And more work, I've got calls on Friday, back to back with clients. Um, but yeah, I think the whole theme of this week is just trying to finish the website that needs to be launched. So that's my plan, but also I need to get some content out on my own channels as well so that is also plan number two hey guys so it's thursday morning um i'm just on my way to go and get my nails done which i need to do i feel like my nails are growing out so they're looking a bit weird but i'm gonna go get them done i always get the same color where is it i always get this color which is opi I put it in neutral so it's so like basic and plain but i'm gonna get that out of the way and then get home and do some work been working the entire time trying to get the site done um the client has added on another page last minute so i think we're going to push back the launch a little bit we we're supposed to be launching tomorrow but i think now we're going to launch more so around monday which is fine um but i'll show you kind of what i've done and how it's all looking so far because I feel like I've been speaking about it so much. So I'm going to show you what it looks like so far. So nothing really has changed since I showed you guys the intro animation. So this is pretty much the same. We made like tiny tweaks here and there, but overall it looks the same. You just animate as you scroll and then homepage. This is like a video, an introduction video. Got some animations throughout the website. Some testimonials, these play as a light box, and then community, freebie section here, and then going into other pages, this one-on-one -on -one coaching page, again, video pop-ups, we've got this little section here that changes picture as you scroll, so basically it's pretty interactive this website, which is what she wanted. Um, but yeah, this is the gist of it. And then we've got experiences page. Again, some pop-ups, some more details. So this is what I spent the most time working on. So this is all of her events. So under each event, we've got our separate um, ticket pages or event pages. So this is all the information of where and when the event is, FAQs about the event here. Um, we've got some imagery from each event uh, and some testimonials here and then a video about the event as well. So each event basically has its own page like this and then you'll find little buy ticket options. So this will link through to Thrivecart, which is still in the test phase, but let's see. So yeah, this is what the Thrivecart will look like. It will just take you to the checkout to pay and then a complete order and then I've made it so that it auto sends you an email from MailChimp that we've customized as well. But yeah, that is the main gist of the website. Um, and then we've also got a contact page. There is also a course page, but she's gonna be launching that later. So just had another delivery come in. Um, 
like I said, I've been doing a lot of shopping recently. I feel like this video is turning into a little bit of a haul. Um, but I'll show you what I got anyway in case anyone is interested. So I first got this jumper from a brand called Dish, which is a little bit more expensive, but I feel like I want to invest more in slightly more expensive pieces that last longer rather than just buying um, a lot of like cheap stuff that doesn't last as long. So I got this jumper. Um, and it looks really nice on and I feel like because of the color I can wear it pretty much all year round. The summer in the UK isn't that warm anyway. Um, so on those cooler summer days I can wear this but I can also wear it in like autumn and spring and even winter. So I think it's a good like versatile piece. But some of these like nice linen shorts for summery days. I also bought another belt. This one's a little bit thinner than the one I got yesterday. Um, and it's more like gold. I feel like the one I got the other day was silver. And then also I bought some tank tops because I feel like that's all I wear in summer. So I just got a basic black one and then a white one that's more of like a scoop neck. So yesterday I bought a white like denim skirt, a maxi skirt. And I feel like they're really in at the moment and I really love the way they look. I bought one in black as well. So this is also a maxi skirt and it's got a slit in the middle here. So I'll try that on and see how it looks. I really like the look of the white one. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is as nice. And then I'm also wearing this shirt that I bought yesterday. Friday and I just got off a call with Ro, my business partner for the agency. And so we had a big discussion about kind of next steps for the marketing and posting and things like that. So we're just finishing up the website design now. I'm going to start developing that next week. And we're also going to do a bit of a workshop on our brand strategy, but it was a very good call. I might potentially go out to Amsterdam where she lives and create some content with her before launch but it is quite a tight timeline, so we'll see. I also had another delivery, which is my final one. I promise I don't always shop like this. And I just felt like I wanted to treat myself this week. So this is one of the last um, items I got. This is the bag I got. It's by the brand Pollen, which is a French brand. I think it's, I don't know how long it's been around, but I feel like it's, I've only just come across it recently on TikTok and stuff, but I saw this really pretty, mini black bag um and i thought it was so nice and i'm excited to wear it it looks small but it's quite roomy in there so hopefully it will be a good kind of everyday bag i want to chat a little bit about the goals that i set initially because i feel like i have been sticking to them i've been sleeping a little bit earlier waking up a bit earlier as well which is really good but one thing i've been kind of slacking on this week is creating content and I feel like the first week it was good. I was posting content, but at the same time, it just felt like I was just posting with kind of no plan in mind. Um, and that's completely fine. But for me, I want to make sure things are kind of done for a reason. Um, otherwise I just feel like I'm wasting my time and I'm not sure like why I'm doing things. So obviously now with the new agency launching, my content's going to change on my personal account and the agency account's gonna be more work focused. And I think I mentioned that last time, but I don't wanna keep posting work content on my personal now for that just to be erased in a couple of weeks time. So I'm kind of taking a back burner on that. There is gonna be a few content pieces that I'm gonna create around launching an agency and stick that on my personal account. And then it's gonna slowly transition. But I have been having a lot of fun with more like personal kind of content. I don't know about you guys but I feel like creators in general they are like multi-passionate people like everyone I've spoken to they have um multiple different things that they love and I'm one of those people like I love a whole bunch of different things I love design and I love the work that I do but I also love things like my home and I love things like fashion and cooking so there's just so many things that I would love to post about and talk about but especially on YouTube I don't know how much of that I can share because my content is very focused around design work. Um, 
and I would love to post more about other stuff I like as well, but I'm just always conscious like if people are even interested in that. But we'll see, I, I do have an outlet for that already on TikTok. I've got more of a personal account where I share home stuff and I just posted a little bit of an unboxing of my new bag. Um, but yeah, I did post some content. So I guess if I'm referring back to my goals about posting content, I am posting content. It's just, I need to get a little bit more clear on the different accounts I'm gonna be posting on and what is the purpose behind posting. That aside, for the rest of the day, I've got a few calls left to do. So I've got one at three and then I've got one straight after to go through the website that we're gonna be launching. So I'm just gonna run through things with her a little bit so she understands what's actually going on in the back end because right now she doesn't. And then I'm gonna get her to create a Webflow account and transfer the site over to her. Um, and then we will be all ready for launch on Monday. And then the other call is to discuss a, a proposal that I sent out. So I've got a client that's keen to do brand strategy, branding and website. Um, and then that reminds me also, I have a email to send out because someone was asking for quotes. Um, so I'm gonna send that out to her as well. After that, I mean, it's Friday. I do have plans this evening. I'll take a break on Sunday, but tomorrow, I do want to spend some time just dedicating to work because the first two days this week, Monday and Tuesday, I was a little bit ill. So that took it out of me. I wasn't really focused on um, much work. So I want to make up for that by doing a bit tomorrow, but it's going to be fun stuff. So it's going to be fine. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get on with the rest of the day. Sacrifice me, the curse I'm holding